I say it every time I make a video on this guy that the comment section is completely divisive. Half the people just hate seeing him, half the people love following with his crazy antics. One thing that's universally agreed upon though is that the people around Blade and Blade himself are some of the biggest pieces of scum on the internet. Now in this video today, you're gonna have a few instances of seeing stuff like that that's just gonna make you go, God, God, these people are the worst. But for the most part, we're gonna be looking at some of the uh some of the some of the comical things that happened with Blade this week. But that sure as hell ain't how we're starting out. Because when we left off last time, we talked about how Blade was on the RV again, Chicken Andy's RV, Chicken Andy being the guy that Blade's wife cheated on him with. There's an entire other cast of characters on this thing too, but, I mean, <laughs> they're pretty irrelevant to it. They they may be there on camera most days all the time, but for the most part, th th all you really gotta know is Blade and Chicken. And later in the video, there's this stream sniper, but like I said, we'll get to that when we get to that. But, where we leave off is that Blade and them are traveling up the East Coast, and they're traveling through New Jersey, and it's the middle of the night they're trying to get to New York. Now, by this point in the night, Blade's already drunk as hell asleep, he's not streaming, Chicken wasn't streaming, but this other dude, this nerd named Trident, he was streaming. And thankfully he was, because what was caught on camera over the next few minutes, some, some really wild stuff. Now, when you first see the clip we're about to see, you're gonna go, really, that was it? But just wait, because it becomes something incredibly scary. Uh, something no one would ever want to have to deal with is about to happen here. I, I always tell people, you know, I think you know what you're getting into when you watch these videos. But I do have to advise you that things are about to get pretty scary if you don't know what's about to happen here. But uh, let's just get right into the clip. It starts with this kid Trident. He's just sitting there, and all of a sudden, it seems like an earthquake happens under this RV. Now, I don't really know entirely what happened here. The guys on the RV said it was the transmission, which is, could be possible, but also, you know, a lot of people say the driver fell asleep, which I could also see being a possibility. There's not many places for them to sleep on this RV. They're very sleep-deprived. Um, the dude driving's just some random guy who's also on the RV he never really see much of, but that's what people were speculating, that uh, he drove off, and you know when you drive over to the side, did you hear those bumps? Da -da 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 -da. That's what happened there. And on that big ass RV, of course, it made it shake like a motherfucker. So they pull over on the side of the road and they check things out. Obvious, you know, that would be the um that would be what you would have to do in that situation, right? Problem. They're on the highway, and again, it's like three in the morning. They don't got no flares or nothing, and there's this giant RV on the side of the road. Now, you you probably already at this point know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna get into the clip and I want you to notice something because Chicken Andy is maybe a split second, maybe a second or two, away from, from straight up decapitation. Get the RV off the road? Yeah, that's what we're trying to do, but we need to find the nearest exit. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, call 911! Call 911! Call 911! Get out the way! Why they weren't doing that before the car crashed into it, I don't know, but the fact of the matter is the person who hit them is all good. At least that's what I heard last time, last time they talked about it. Now, this lady's car, on the other hand, that shit was absolutely totaled. Fact of the matter is, though, you can always buy a new car, but you can't, you can't get your loved ones back or anything if, God forbid, anything happened. And that's what these fucking dickheads put people at complete risk to do, and it happened. And it could have gone way worse, and thank God it didn't. Even chicken, you know? I, I don't want to see no one just get straight up, you know, taken out on one of these streams. That's, uh, that's just not what I want to see. But, I mean, a punch here and there to them, that's, that's all well and good, but... It's moments like these that really make you realize just how how much how much of dumb shits these guys are. Like, you don't pull over in the middle of the night on the fucking highway with your RV with no no light to indicate to people what's ahead of the, it's just no, what are you doing? And that they thought they were gonna be back on the road in like a few minutes. Ah, we'll just get we'll get it all sorted out, get back on the road, and clearly that's not what happened. So after that happened, they couldn't just get back on the RV and drive away. They had to go stay at a hotel for the night. And then they stayed at one, I guess, in New York City. And the other guys, all the other streamers, they went out and they did streaming and Blade. Well, Blade just 
Blade did what he did best. He had a fire sale stream. And I can't show anything to you on stream here because Blade immediately deleted it. Uh, there is clips out there of it. I know that. If you look hard enough, you'll find it. But Chicken Andy comes back to the hotel room, decides to start messing with him, which, as you'll see by the end of this, will be basically the major theme of this video. Um, but Blade eventually just has enough and pulls his pants down and like kind of like moons Chicken live on camera. Uh, something else pops out, too, and... Immediately thereafter, both streams were gone. So, and even if they weren't, it was sure as shit not nothing I was going to uh, play on my stream, but that's what happened when they were in New York. Blade just stayed in the hotel room, got drunk, and almost got his channel banned. And so, en route to Boston, because that was where this trip was originally supposed to end. And even if they don't have the RV, they're going to make their way up there. And they did, because one of their, one of their, like, the guys who donates to them a lot said, like, man, I really want you up here. So they went up to go meet up with the guy. And earlier tonight, they decided, hey, let's go out in Boston and stream. It was just Blade, Chicken, and this guy. And <laughs> let me just tell you, like, this this stream, I didn't expect it to be, like, <laughs> to be as funny as it was. But seeing Only Use Me Blade on the street getting picked on by a bunch of kids in Boston calling him a fed was, uh, was definitely one of the highlights of my day watching that. Blade overhears some guy say that he needs a phone charger, and Blade, being the streamer he is, obviously has tons of things for the guy to charge it with. And the dude, you know, seemingly, you know, he if he didn't want to, he could just say, nah, man, I'm cool, but this dude stands here, and look, Blade's, Blade's one of the worst people, but these guys he was dealing with on this night... <laughs> They're the biggest types of douchebags you'll find. I think most people know guys like this in their life who think they're hard as shit and they know everything. Um, and you're just about to see some of the some of the lowest forms of humanity you'll find here on God's green earth. <laughs> no, trust me, dude. There you go, dude. Nah, we're good, bro. We're chilling, bro. I'm giving you a charge, dude. Okay, dude. Captain, you green dollars. Scammer? Scammer? Are you scamming? Scammer? Are you scamming? Scammer? Yeah, I just like to... Now, 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 Okay. I go to work, yo. I'm a good civilian. I can make no crimes. Yo, but yo, have a good night, bro. For real, I appreciate it. Okay. All I, did, all I did was offer you that. Absolutely. And, 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 and I listened to you. Yo, 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 I'm not from my phone, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. Yo, but yo, all right, yo, respect, though. Nah, it's cool, bro. Yo, what respect, bro? That's not how I am, though. Yo, have a good night, bro. What's this for your family? Good night, dude. Shut up, you need it. For real. Like, on God, bro, you're not about to catch me doing that, you know, plugging my phone into that phone charger, which is going to steal all my information and shit. These guys seem like the Alex Jones type. <laughs> They're just, you know, Blade, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe, you know, maybe some people are going to be like, Smokey, you can never trust him. But this is a guy sitting there on the street, reeking like alcohol, just drunk as shit, with all these friggin' wires and a selfie stick. They think him recording them is like some police thing. These dudes are, uh, they're tripping out about shit. They're on their Tony Chase tip, you know? <laughs> fucking, fucking Blade is the satellite man. But it's, it's, the dudes just kind of clown on Blade and walk away, and you'd think that would be it, but there's another dude in their group who comes back over, and it's just, they're so convinced that Blade's a cop. It's just, to think of Blade being a cop is a hilarious thought, but if they really knew what he actually did, it, it would be a lot funnier. Dude, I'm gonna fucking do it. I got two trolls, dude. Hey, 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 Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Walk away, dude. Walk away, dude. You want, you want to sing, dude? No, I, I know, I know, fucking fat, dude. Walk away, dude. 
I literally offered you a charge for your phone, dude. No, I literally offered him a charge on my on my battery bank. That's all. Yeah. Watch the other way. You think this is a game? I'm sorry. You don't smoke sense like that, bro. That's on God, bro. That's a cop, bro. Oh my God. On my mom's life, bro. That's like, like, come on. This dude, these dudes are so sure of this shit. They're telling him, like, look at the way he smokes a cigarette, man. Nah, 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 nah. And, you know, they could just be fucking with him. At first, I thought maybe they were. But the more this goes on, like, his girlfriend or someone or someone he knows, some, some chick goes up to Blade, and the dude's screaming, like, yo, Bambi, he's a, he's a fucking fed. Like, what are you doing? It's just... These, again, if you've ever gone to a bar in your life, if you've ever, like, you, you've you seen this, you've seen people like this, and they're just the fucking worst, and uh, watching this on a Friday night from the comfort of my own house and not being out and partying, you know, sometimes it hurts, but then I watch shit like this and I remember, at least I'm not having to deal with people like that. Uh, it's a rare, rare occurrence where blades of the person sitting here being <laughs> rational, but, um, but here we are. No, no, because I'm from Seattle and I smoke menthols. I don't have menthols out here, dude. Walk away, dude. Walk away, dude. Walk away, dude. Walk away, dude. I literally offered you. said, no, shut up. You literally said that your phone was dead. I offered you a battery maker and a charger. Walk away, dude. You're a Walk away, dude. Walk away, dude. Walk away, dude. Bro, me and him walking away, not with you, bro. You're a fucking police, bro. I'm not police, but I'm gonna see you. Bro, this is a weird, bro. Bro, I respect you. Go home, bro. He's a fat, fat, fat. I'm not a fat, dude. Dude, I literally offered you a charge off your iPhone because you said your iPhone was dead. Die, dude. Chat donated three dollars. Personally, chat doesn't like that level of disrespect. Handle this. Dude, I'm dealing with it, dude. Chungus! Chungus! Where you at, dude? These guys are trying to stand next to Blade looking like some bad mafia motherfuckers, but they're just they're just coming off like crazier than someone like Blade sitting there with the camera pointed at them. And that's what I think they don't like, and most of these people don't like at the end of the day, but still. Um, Blade, when told that the chat wants him to figure it out, he tells him, you know, I am figuring it out, and then immediately starts screaming for the stream sniper that's there with them so he has some backup. And obviously, you know, everyone would want backup in this situation. There's like a bunch of those dudes just hovering around Blade, but eventually the guy does get back to Blade, and when he sits down there, these guys just don't stop. They start yelling at him, warning him about the fact that Blade's a cop. The guy, a fed, dude. The guy, they call me a fucking fed because I'm trying to charge this fucking iPhone, dude. This little short fuck. Okay. This little short fuck, dude. I don't know who's a short fuck, but here's your triple. Hey, yo. yo, bro. 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 That's the police right there, bro. Where? That's the police next to right now, bro. Ah, you got me! I don't care. Let me get a shot, dude. I don't think there's any. Let me, let me get a shot, dude. Let me get a shot, dude. Fuck that guy, dude. Hold that shit. Hold that shit, dude. It's not illegal to be drunk in public. This guy? Yes. Okay. I, he's not even. Why would I talk to you? Get the fuck out, dude. He's not even from Boston. Chat donated Boston. three dollars. Chungus, handle no. this. Alright. But he's taking shots. Because he's taking shots. Do you want a shot? Tell you, let, let me get another cigarette, dude. Give me another cigarette, I'm going to kill this motherfucker, dude. Give me another cigarette, dude. I'm going to kill this motherfucker, dude. No, seriously, let me get a cigarette, dude. I'm going to kill this motherfucker, dude. Don't, no. These guys drove Blade to his absolute limit. He, you could tell he wasn't going to do anything, but this is probably one of the most more angrier moments you'll see Blade. He can take getting messed with by chicken all day, but these Bostonian fucks, absolutely not. 
So Blade and the other guy continued to sit there doing their shots until inevitably they found Chicken uh, passed out not too far away from them. I think literally like right across the street on a bench. And uh, they, they attempted to start trying to wake him up because Blade was so drunk that he was trying to go home. Blade was uh, just streaming his face. He was just saying a bunch of slurs, which is really all he does when he gets drunk. And eventually, um, Chicken Andy's phone starts getting a bunch of calls. And one of them... <laughs> One of the calls pops up as Beck. Beck, if you don't know, is Blade's girl. And <laughs> this is what happens when they get an apparent call from Beck. It shows up on the phone as Beck, but uh, this is what happens. <laughs> and it makes for a perfect, abrupt ending to Blade's stream. Chicken's a little bit gone. I mean, he's passed out in a in a patch of, uh, of uh, mulch, so... You know, we're going to figure out how to deal with that. So here's Blade. Go to sleep, dude. Right, yeah, you can go to sleep, dude, once we get back to the hotel. I know that. Go to sleep. Um, go to one I'm going to pick this up. It's Beck. Uh, hi, Beck. Um, so I'm the only one who's moderately sober here. And uh, Chicken's passed out like fuck. And Blade is really wow. drunk. And I don't know how Care much. Jeff uh, donated three dollars. Jesus Christ, stop oh, complaining no, no, and uh, handling. We don't have any music. But I hope you have a good night, man. Yo, what now? What the? Hey, Beck. Hold on. Hey, Beck, Beck. you're next. Who's going, dude? What the fuck? Yo. What's going, dude? Hey, wait, who's. What? Hey, Beck? I'm in the shit. Hang on. You're all, you're all, you're all poor. You're, you're poor. You're poor. Hey, is that Beck? It said Beck, and some guy said he's banging Beck in the ass. Hey, we're done, dude. You guys are all figured out, dude. Figured out, dude. So Chicken's already passed out. Blade's so drunk that he's calling his own wife the N-word every time she calls. And this stream sniper, this guy who showed up to hang out with them tonight, is now left to uh left to take care of these two. Chicken ends up with his like pants around his ankles trying to take a piss in the street, and Blade ends up <laughs> right in Chicken's position, sleeping right there. This picture you're about to see on screen now, I think, really sums up this entire night. Because it was just this streamer trying to figure out how the hell he's going to get these guys back. And eventually, he's like, listen, I got an Uber here. We got to get back to the hotel. They both kind of get groggy, get to their feet. They start walking towards the Uber. And Chicken just starts fighting with Blade. They go down to the ground, start fighting. They do this a lot. But eventually, they do make it to that Uber. And once they do, Blade starts saying some crazy shit. Chicken starts saying some crazy shit. And then something weird happens. I'm going to show you guys this without any context. And, um, you know, it's a blank screen because Chicken's got his phone in his pocket. I don't even know if he still thinks he's live at this point. But then something sobers him up real quick once they get in that Uber. I also apologize if this is hard to hear. I'm going to turn off the background music here to, so you guys can just hear it a little bit better. This was recorded while in Chicken's pocket, so it's going to sound pretty muffled, but yeah. Chicken, right in here. Here you go. Uh, yeah. 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 They're okay, but but they do yeah, need to get back. Get him um he might suck dick. Fun. 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 Oh, all the fun. Yeah. They're very good. Yeah, I love you, dude. I love you, dude. Oh. <laughs> I can't kiss you? Oh. No, don't no kiss reason. anybody, Blade. <laughs> hey. Hey, pull over for me? No. Yes. Why? No, there's no reason. Oh, yeah, there is. No, there isn't. There's no reason. No. 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 Sure you want to do that? So why are you doing that? Uh, hey, look. I looked it up. Public intoxication in Boston is not legal. So they were pulled over on their way out because people had been calling the Boston Police Department and telling them that Chicken was uh, was exposing himself in the street when he dropped his pants to piss. 
Now, the stream sniper in the front seat, he, uh, he explains to these cops that he has it on footage that Chicken still had his boxers on and it wasn't that. And eventually the cops agree and let them go because they understand what's going on here. But it's not before Chicken Andy makes a complete ass of himself in front of these cops and basically in front of anyone watching this because it really shows you just how much of a fucking scumbag this guy is. He thinks he's the, the funniest shit, but really it's just insufferable. Grab his ID, the guy in the front seat. I'm gonna show you the video. Hey, you, bro. No, hang on. I'm yeah, gonna show you the video. So fucking hard, man. Like, Thank you. What are you Appreciate on? It. Fucking no, 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 drugs, oh, okay. bro? You're also on drugs. Uh, wait, hold on. Can I get a name and badge? Yeah, let Oh, okay. Guys, John, the cutest. Uh, right, can I get your name and badge number, sir? No, we're wrong, dude. Power trip. Power trip. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, what's your name, homie? That's okay. I'm. I'm from California. So, your your partner's having a power trip. No, he's yeah, goddamn it. He's, he it's not illegal. What the fuck? Is the policy he's not a fucking illegal? Is it illegal? These two are drunk. Is it illegal? Your fucking policy is illegal. But they're they're doing what the right thing. What the fuck? So so, I, I so, so ch check your partner, homie. So, What's the illegal you know, person policy, the, dog? So yeah, congrats. No, I I get my name. I get my name. So I'm trying to find yeah, man. Where You're all fucking fucked up. Naked. I don't give a shit. Um, he only had his pants down, what? What? Uh, but oh, not his shit. eyes. So he wasn't, he wasn't yeah, actually in the nude. That was really trying to I'm get him chilling. up. He was past, there we go. So this is the part where he was naked. So you can see he's got his pants down, but he has his underwear on. Here we are. I brought my um, dude. dude. And Come down there. I brought my dude. No Smokey? No Smokey. I brought my dude. Alright, it's outside. No Smokey. Alright, you guys. It's outside. They came on a truck. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. He's a fucking um, Uber, man. Show them around Boston. And, He's a fucking uh, Uber. A what the fuck? Hey, what what are you what are you on about, man? Out. He's a fucking Uber. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's you're, all right. You're it's out sir. of the conversation, what, what, pal. Just relax. Sir. Nothing's going sir. on. We're over here what having happened? a rational. No, no, no it's y'all okay. being okay. gay, bro. So, sorry. What, what happened? Okay. I'm sorry that y'all so different. Just sorry, y'all different breed. Fuck your mother. These guys aren't gonna appreciate that. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I was trying to get them up. Get them yeah, up. hit me first. I'm fucking bullshit. I'll see ya. Uh, he pulled his pants down. Take a piss. I, I, I know. Yeah, but it's, I, mean, I couldn't stop it. Uh, he is one of the biggest douchebags you'll ever see on the internet. Chicken in this clip, uh, just, you know, just acting like an asshole in front of these cops, smoking in this guy's Uber when he clearly doesn't want it. You know, I think that was karma that his cigarette broke right there. At the very end of that clip, the dude there with just basically tells the cops straight up, yeah, I know, he was taking a, a piss in the street. Illegal, I know. So he basically just snitches Chicken out right there. The cops probably could have arrested him, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? The cops, uh, even though they were getting talked to like this, they let him go. They let him just, you know, mosey on back to the hotel, and that's what they did. And what do you think happened when they got there? Well, if you guessed the chicken would fuck with Blade and not let him get his sleep that he's been trying to get all night by just constantly attacking him, you'd be 100% right. Oh, you got it? Hold on. Okay. I think bubbles are the best. Hold on, we gotta lay back down here. Yeah, there we go. But I, I said something. making these weird turn acting. Yeah, I know. Okay, come on. No, 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 that's our bit. Yeah, he goes, he sleeps with chicken. I mean, uh, Blade. Oh, no! They well, sleep. I, they're bed buddies, dude. Fuck you, dude. I hate this thing. Crazy the things you gotta think about. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, like that type of shit. Fuck you, dude. Oh shit. Fuck wrong with you, dude. Fuck wrong with you, dude. Oh, that's my hand. Wings better work on his striking game if he thinks he's going to step into that boxing ring against Wings. Jordy would wipe the floor with this boy. This is obviously nothing new though. Chicken messes with Blade all the time, but I think since they know that this is coming to an end, Chicken was trying to go extra hard tonight to mess with Blade. I mean, there was even a point where Chicken seemed like fell asleep in Blade's arms. It was, it was a really gay situation here on the stream. You go stream around here, dude. Let me go stream around dude. Fuck you, dude. Like, what? Like, it looked like they were making out on the floor there for a second. 
Honestly, though, I don't know how Blade can't take, like, the 130 pounds of Chicken Andy off of him. I know he's blacked out drunk, but just shows what bad shape Blade's in. He, he has no strength at all. But if you thought this was the end of it, no. Because Chicken decided to follow Blade into the bathroom and decided to bother him by sleeping on the sink while Blade tried to use the bathroom, inevitably making Blade rage quit and leave the bathroom without using it. Oh yeah. Calm down, sir. It's fucking 3:30 a.m. Calm down, sir. Can you pass out again? Okay, you guys are friends. You're good friends. Feel a bit. Feel a bit. Feel a bit. Feel a bit. That freak. So there we go. No, just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. No, no, no. Don't fuck him up. Yeah, just cuddle. They cuddle. Eventually, he gets tired and they cuddle. What the fuck's wrong, dude? He's cuddling you. What the Dude, what the problem, fuck? dude? Wait. The fuck's the problem, dude? Wait, he was cuddling you. So that's cuddling, right? Yes, that was cuddling. The fuck's the problem, dude? He was that's, trying to cuddle that time. That's when you cuddle. You see, that's he's love. Down. That's love. When he tones down, he that's what cuddle. happens when love happens. Yeah, that's love. Right? Hey, well, chicken, well, I love you, dude. I love you, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. You're being weird, dude. You're being weird, dude. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, I I'm better than you, dude. I'm better than you, dude. Blade finally awakens the sleeping giant within him, <laughs> lugs himself up, and hits Chicken Andy with a Kevin Nash-esque sidewalk slam on the bed. Basically gets the pin there, one, two, three. Chicken, what do I do? Well, I, don't, I don't mean it in like a... Like Chicken, do you I really think I don't do shit? I mean, I'm like a... Like a I'm a person with an... Go, dude. Person. I have my own problems. Go, but, Chicken. But I... I'm and at this point, this is where I turned off the stream. Chicken and Blade eventually <laughs> tired each other out and just fell asleep together, cuddling on the floor. Um, I imagine they're still in this state now. This is only this only happened about three hours ago. I'm recording this right after I watched this whole situation go down. And uh, it was um some of the some of the earlier stuff was pretty funny. This shit at the end here just shows how much <laughs> how much messing with blade means to chicken andy he knows it's his like main source of content every time he can get blade on his rv he knows it's going to be great because people will throw donations to watch him mess with blade and um this could be one of the last times we see it for a while and after seeing just how weird it was tonight it's probably for the best but maybe seeing blade out in the streets of boston again now that would be something pretty funny but then again, you know, Blade should be, the only place Blade should be is at like an AA meeting, trying to get treatment for his diabetes, but no, here he is, doesn't give a shit about anything other than his fire sales, and uh, this is the life you get when you, when you go down that route. Here you are sleeping, <laughs> sleeping on the fucking floor of a budget inn somewhere in Boston with this fucking meth head kid just, just, just nussled all up to you. Like a father he never had. And with that, that's really it for this whole RV saga, at least to, to my knowledge. They may go live a few more times in Boston before they all head home, but I think this is the last night it's actually going to be entertaining. And, you know, like I said, you, it's very rare to find the, uh, the really entertaining stuff in this shit, but when you do, it's there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it. And uh, I can never thank you guys enough for all your support, even the, even the negative support when you guys saying you hate hearing about Blade and all that. Any type of uh, feedback you guys got, leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to uh, be sure to work on that shit. Secondly, I do want to mention that I have a show I do every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time over on Kiwi Tape's channel called Too High for Stupid. It's a great show, and I'm pretty sure if you guys like stuff like this, you guys will really enjoy the show. We cover people like Blade the RV people all the time. So if you guys, uh, if you guys think that would be something you would enjoy, come stop on by and get high with the gang. And finally, I do want to say that we have other videos coming out this week, one on Tofia Chu, another one on Daniel Larson, and then we're going to do a Lol Cow wrap-up at the end of the month. So I hope you guys stick by for that, and you guys, um, and yeah, just, just thank you for all the support you guys always give. It's, it's immensely appreciated, and I'll never be able to thank you guys enough. And with that being said... I want to give shouts out to Vanessa, Scaly Schisms, Churlish, Adrian, Lara, All Right, Stingy, Gypsy, Pauls, Trademark, Commander, Louie, Not So Crabby, Justin S, Count Drugula, SK Rux, Bullet BP, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Emery, Jason, Philly B, Bass Trucker, Robot Gorilla Man, Seal Currently, Eric Estrada, Everborn, Akiba's Beat Fan, Sora Trash, Salem, The Black Dragon, Prideful Jester, Griffin Shivo, Austin Vidal, 
Mel Club Doom, Gryphon, J. Avarice, Kostai, Zangetsu Black, J. Sorensen, Brady Gravy, Greg the Rich, TJ, Grizzly Slug, Bob Skywalker, Just a Normal Bottle of Mustard, Ignatius, Spaghetti Jelly, Radon, MXAX, Dalton, Grizzly Bear, Pubsy, Sergeant Retro, The Red Scum, Barfunkel Shag Nasty, Pebra, Night Scraper, Monarch, Nabarius, Canadian, Skylar, Crush Shadow, Viet Bong Vet, Me Man Dan, Dope and Smoke, Zuzu, Kerma, Turgberger, Marshall Rogers, Nunya D Business, Unicorn is God, Blue Sapphire, Proto Shock, Jammer X, Pastor Arthur Montgomery, Miserable Attic, Dirty J, Ian, Sword Brother, Nomags, Mr. Muda, Mrs. Starscream, Annabelle, Rexo, King of Town, Sludge Maniac, Capybara Man, Kairos, Try Give Black Tiger, Tiki's General Story, Your Buddy Bubba, Reb Zoomer, Chat Creeper, The Ghostbusters Fan, Old Man Bradley, Squidwater, Trap Lordius, Pope Supercom, a Jizzler, Metal Wolf, Some Frenchy, Nappy, Burger, Sine Wave, Deus Valter, Big Burr, Zook Nation, Jasper, Let a Bitch Live, Lord Fixa, Doc, Mind Boy, Pepsi Smuggler, Drew, Lieutenant Dangle, Hodeman, 100 Norwals, Tony Montana, Wolfgang's Calling, Joey Huey, Mr. McMunchy, Night From Afar, Lord, King Bobby B, Cheems Bogar, Trashbow, Anton Levy, Ronnie, Marissa, Peanut Mama, Hillbilly Wizard, Official Chad, Hunter Cobb, The Black Dragon, Dangler Wrangler, Wet Bread, Randy Leahy, Kieran, Killing Jokes, Steve Ulinski, Coffee Moose, Tommy, The Grundle, Legendary Duelist, Rizmaster, Gary, Sloth Thing, My Black Dragon, Kevin Finnerty, Funky Weapon, Eric the Black Dragon, Ed Boy, Not a Gamer, Ja, G.H. Champ, Was Dead, Angela, Jason, Mr. Frosty, Clovis, Nikolai, Tanner Laswell, Riker Blade, Captain Spalding, Wylanda, Nick Flynn, Rotjaw, Matt Dabrowski, Ryan Ulinski, Fubsy, Anti CK, No Not the Corn, Night Shroud, Your Psycho Ex Girlfriend, Suki Satsuki, Noel Garaby, The Memes Jack, RJ Kogan, Fratrick McCombs, Izame, Inigo Montoya, DSP's Receding Hairline, Benjamin the Black Dragon, Lorraneus the Black Dragon, Dat Dogeboy, Honda Civic, Pickle the Black Dragon, Light Grove, Actius, Draven, Subject Jake Catman the Black Dragon, Tingle Makani, Dubsmane, Man B64, Mike Muskie, Full Thickness, Mattress Store, Josh, Ziamara Moo, Cromlock, Christine, Black Ice, EH, Corvonix, Jack Gusteau, Ramen, Kai B, Bimp Liskit, Cress, That One, DJ Cannon, Great White Hype, Joey Huey, Kyle Edwards, Whoopazing, B Man's, Neat Life, Chewy, Guestbo, Vitrips, Crafty Ninja, Warm frothing jar of sludge, Liluna, Simplicit, Vish K, Jesus H. Christ, Kaiser Sigma, Dark Nozomi, Sam Taylor, Buxo Drew, Stinky Fist, Dubious Dinkster, Sweet Maddie, Chocolate, BTF Nation, Jacob is Lucas, Unprofessional, Hot Wheels, Witch Doctor, Bobby Queso, Clyde Cash, Big Daddy DK, Enigma APA, Dingbat, Vince's Money, Little Black Sea Dragon, Bako, Smoke Man, Turbo Soggy, Seven Dust, Cerulean Church, Andex, Johnny Slapnuts, Kai, the Skunk Ape, Mikey, Sam Man, Dougal, the Snail Man, Jag Skulls, Panana, Dick Dastardly, Based Bigfoot, G.D. Allen, Wait What, Kill All of the Bugs, James J. Jameson, Fruity, Mr. Jinx, Snoobly Doot, Jacob Rosetta, Cat, Fluffy, Ricky Cornflakes, Yakob, Jurassic Clark, Runa, Heaven Strider, Victor Dioro, Imbergo, Apple Smoke, Joe Smother, Pseudonym, T Toxic, L.E.P., Brandon Williford, Shoop to Hoop, Dr. Depresso, Cow Wrangler, Sunflower, Dominion Sorcerer, Kangna, Ian Brandon Anderson, The Black Dragon, Cicada, Brando, Baby, Controlled Chaos, Autumn, Lotus Man, J Travel, Sir Useless, Logan Cole, Johnny, White Glove, Dane Justice, The Real, De Solita, Vivisa, Don Grease, Colon Sausages, Cario, Zal, Entropic Star Kid, Megami Man, Joe M, Anonymous, CC, Timbang, Phony Bread, Just Nate Heat, Isaiah, Cowboy Pete, Madman, Looking Up, Number One, The Wise Black Dragon, Paul Hayman, Bong, One to Think, Fictional, Da Sting, 
hunted by Stingrays, Supreme Quacker Pie, Void, Chung, Nathan, Johnny Midnight, Great Lakes Sinner, John John, Jeremiah Moore, Low Battery Smoke Detector, Moo the Mogul, Chunky Raccoon, Coding Crusader, Kenny Colfax, Zacchaeus Liang, Aaron, Matt, Nova Crane, Vert Rocks, Duck Lord, Ryman, Locks, Bloody Mary, EJ, Mateen, Misty, Johnny, Joe Mama, Ryan L., Lorenzo, Captain Cholera, Hashkov, Omega, Orange Rhino, Ted Comet, Harold Larold, Mighty Possum, Cryptid Bait, Perry Lee, Venom Snake, Laguna Luar, Slug Lip, Blank, Mr. Zombie Shake, Biohazard Salad, Natalia Jenkins, Kiwi Tapes, I Hate Everything, JT, Hyena Man, IDK Grouchy, Spike Chandelier, Chris Chan's Phantom Bottle Collection, The Dirty Bald Knobber, Low Feed, Jack Al, Black Meddler, River Ranger, PG, Maddie, Quickville Cop, Kiwi, and Coggles. You guys are all goats, and anyone who made it to the end of this video, you're a goat as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to sometimes sit back, kick back, relax, and know that your life isn't the way Blades is going right now. Because, you know, a lot of things could be bad, but shit, that's one of the worst, man. That's one of the worst. Just be happy you're not on that RV, or, you know, you're not even in that RV, on that hotel room floor with Chicken Andy right now. It's a scary, scary thought, my friends. So until the next time, I'll see y'all then. And until then, stay safe, my friends. Have a great rest of your week. If shit's looking down in your life, just know that shit's about to turn back around. I used to give all different types of advice at the end of these videos, but I think that's the most important because anybody and everybody could be struggling with shit every day. And all you gotta do is just look towards the future and look at situations like this. Um, one thing I will say is, um, on Too High for Stupid, my, uh, aforementioned podcast with Kiwi Tapes, earlier this week I mentioned something, and I, I think it got, got misconstrued a little bit because it sounds ridiculous when you say it, but I said that watching only Use Me Blade gives me hope. The reason it gives me hope is because... It shows me that no matter what terrible shit you do to your body, whether it be cigarettes, drinking, all that shit, apparently you can just keep on chugging along like only use me blade. Yeah, it'll be a pretty bleak existence, but hey, the human body can handle a lot. So, you know, I'm not saying go go do anything Blade's doing, but I'm just saying our bodies are capable of a lot, my friends. And if you're scared about shit and you think you're not going to be able to make it or anything bad's going to happen, just look at Blade and go, if he can go through that type of shit and his body can put up with it, <laughs> yours can too, my friends, no matter what it is. Maybe that's stupid advice. And I know there's people in the comments going to tell me, Smokey, what the hell are you talking about? But I'm just saying, when you watch someone like Only Use Me Blade, just look at him and go, wow, humans are fucking amazing. So until I see you on the next one, guys, stay safe, and uh, I'll catch you then.